this particular part of the Big Bill house, 4 a.m., oh. and Big Bill issued the three occupants with one not final watching. challenge. So check it's it not, out. I'm not watching it. Is it bad? <laughs> this is Big Bill. Big Bill is sick of the artwork in the house. So Big Bill has another challenge for you boys. Oh, no. The French are known for their renaissance <laughs> and artistic flair. Renaissance. So in the diary room, you will find French outfits and cardboard oh, and paints. Well, and no, Big no. Bill would like you no. to paint your own version of Jim's famous portrait <laughs> ramming the point home. No more after this, Bill. I'm telling you, mate, this is the last time. Just do as you told, Gary. Thank you, Shane. I jump up and down and get the change every three minutes. Half past three in the morning. Gary's getting grumpy. <laughs> oh, this is when we're going to get great TV. you individually Get please explaining your artwork Get us out to of Big Bill. You can see the pose there, the hunched over intensity of the man in the throes of passion. I think I've captured that pretty well. The, um, uh, if the um, <laughs> symbol of love here uh, is highlighted with a real rosy red. Very creative Stupid. and it's a one-off item. Jeepers! 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 He's just rewiring the bread. Brett Whiteley. Don't bore the piss out of us. Just Brett tell us Whiteley, what I'm had. telling you how I've come up with this. Brett Whiteley incorporated the watch actually into the painting, the physical watch. So I decided I would follow. A loaf of bread on him. <laughs> That's not a loaf of bread. That's. What? That's symbolism for his snag, Gary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the focus for the viewer and the admirer of art is the actual population rod, or as we <laughs> call it in the industry, and you can see why. I'll just give it a hue. A hue is the vermilion tip kidney prodder. That's it there. <laughs> Jim finds it hard to carry it because he's not a large, robust man, and when he does get a head of steam up, he can overbalance. And this was to portray the fact that Mrs B probably could be over here somewhere, and he was aiming at her, and the nearest correct entry would win. <laughs> Third in your competition tonight. Third is you, Sam. That was shit oh, out. Second that's harsh. Right. is Shane. Yeah. And congratulations, Gary, Thank on winning you. our competition Thank tonight. Well done, Gary. You ever eaten snail? What? Have you ever eaten snail? No, no I've never eaten a snail, no, Shane. Oh, we're in France. Yeah. We're in Paris. No? Ever? Well, you ever eaten snail? Mm-hmm. You have. In, well, that's the same saying of living in Werribee. Have you ever eaten a piece of shit? I mean, what's that mean? <laughs> Won the challenge, yeah. but I actually thought the old enforcer most encapsulated no. the uh, physical now style. Look. Now look, <laughs> I got that idea. I interviewed Brett Whiteley. I was the last person, I think, to interview the late Brett Whiteley, and he was commissioned by Rado, who make watches. You told us this on the night. Well, <laughs> did that come across then? Yes. Yes. I oh, did it. Yes. Oh. Well, I wasn't watching because I was embarrassed about yeah. that. I, I, when you do that at four in the morning, you think, "Oh, this won't go to air." Right. And of course, it went to air. Well, I'd say yeah. It was quite clever, so though. I, I manacled uh, well out of an image of his yeah. uh, member mm. uh, to the board with a uh, coat that's, hanger, that's which I fashioned into a. Bringing back memories. Of the night. And if we <laughs> ever ask to do it again, I'm telling you, never ever. Well, uh, what again. Did you, vermilion tipped? Kidney prodder. Oh, oh, well, here we go. We're going to get to a break <laughs> and back to wrap up after this. Okay.